guys, welcome to part two of my dollhouse tour. So last week I posted part one, which was going over all of the bedrooms. And this week we'll be going over all the other rooms, which is the playroom, the one Aurora's in right now, the bathroom, which I just recently finished, and then the bottom room, which is a living room, dining room, kitchen sort of thing. So I will have part one linked in the description if you want to go check that out first. And I definitely recommend watching that part. It doesn't really matter which one you watch first, but in order to get the full effect, you should definitely watch both of them. I just want to mention real quick that my allergies have been really bad recently. So I'm sorry if I sound weird, but I really wanted to get this video out there for you guys. Before we get started on the playroom, I just wanted to give you an overall view of what the dollhouse looks like. Also in last week's video, I went over my lighting system and some of how I store some of my doll stuff. So that is definitely the more like, it's about the bedrooms, but also some of the behind the scenes stuff. So definitely go check that one out. Okay, now we're actually gonna start the playroom. Okay, so here's the playroom. This is where I have like all the video games. So in my dollhouse, um, Luciana and James, who's my brother's doll, both play video games. So I made this little room for them. And so I made this TV and it's on top of um, this little thing I made from gluing wood pieces together. And then they have just some games, a little VR set I made. I made all of these from a printout and then the American Girl Xbox. And then this TV is literally just a box. And then I have a ton of posters. Last week, you might remember that I mentioned the Window Chronicles. Again, Window Chronicles poster, love that so much. And then more posters. Battlefront's like my favorite video game. I'm actually not bad at it. <laughs> so that's why this one's up here. And then my brother loves playing FIFA. So originally I had the three in one gaming table over here, but unfortunately it's just too big and does not fit in the room anymore because otherwise I can't fit any bean bags in there. And then they would have no place to sit. So that's why the three in one table is no longer in here. It used to go like right here. And then in the corner, they just have this connect four because I didn't really know where else to put it. And then popcorn has a little dog bed and then they have a little rug. And this is the gaming chair from American Girl that came with the Xbox. And then I made this beanbag chair originally for um, Aurora and Luciana's bedroom, but I've since decided that it's too big and I just need to get a normal chair for their bedroom, but I think it looks really good in the playroom. So that is the whole playroom. The next room is the bathroom and I just finished this like last week. So the video of how I put this together and how I made it and all of the in-depth pieces are, that video should be coming out next Friday. So a week from today. And I was gonna post that video first, but I figured it'd be good to complete the part one, part two series and then do the bathroom. So if you wanna see how this was made, subscribe and look out for next week's video. But anyway, over here, we just have a little shelf I got from Target. It was so cute, it is so cute and it works perfectly in here. And then I just have some little toiletries on here and then more toiletries up here. I actually made these tiny candles. Oh no, I knocked today, but... Ah. Um, but then I just have some, oh, I'm making it worse. Okay, hold on. Okay, I fixed it. Um, as I was saying, I just have some little toiletries up here, some little tissues, all these really cute stuff. Very, very cute. And then over here, I have the bathtub, and this is a towel from Nenea's swimsuit. The, like, new one, the pink striped one. And then this is the bathtub from Our Generation. Originally, I was going to get the My Life As shower, but apparently they were having a sale on this, and my mom knew I wanted something like a bathtub or a shower, so she got it for me from Target. And I was surprised by it, but I really like it. It's a really pretty color, and I think it goes really well with the vibe of my dollhouse. But it came with all this really cute stuff. And it does make noise if you turn this. 
which I think is super cute. And then this thing comes out. Oh my gosh. But yeah. So I think that's really cute. Honestly, you know the old like um, American Girl bathtub with like the big pink bubbles? I honestly like this better than that. I don't know. I, what are your opinions? I think I, I like this better. And then over here we have a toilet I made a very long time ago and it has Velcro right here. So it'll actually stay up. And this is just literally like a butter container filled or covered in white craft film. But it's actually kind of cute. I don't know. I like it. It works. And then this is the like main piece of the bathroom, I guess. Well, I guess the bathtub probably is, but. So here we have this that I made. It's foam board or foam core. And then this is just cardboard for the drawers. And then these little handles. So in here we just have some towels. As you can see, this literally is not even like, oh my gosh no okay well that sucks um i'm gonna have to move on later okay anyway um as i was saying this is literally not even like a full drawer i just didn't feel like making it a full drawer because it wasn't really gonna matter and then up here we just have a blank drawer because as of now there's nothing i need to put in it and then the top is this like grid and then this soap, which is so ugly, and I made it so long ago. I really need to make another one, but for now, that's what we're working with. And then this candle, and this sink is one of those paperclip sinks that everybody has on EGTube. So, it's a little bit small. I will say, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about getting one of these, just keep in mind that it is pretty small. So, you may want to think about that before getting it. But I mean, it does still work, and it's super cute. And then I just have a little mirror up here. And I'm probably going to add a lot more posters and decorations and stuff up here as I get it. But if I waited until my dollhouse was done, I would never get this video out. Because my dollhouse is something I want to constantly be adding to. So I just wanted to make this video now to show you guys sort of like the base of what I'm working with. So really quick, I just wanted to show the garage. And... The garage is just this little section. Eventually, maybe I'll turn it into another room. But for now, it works as a garage and it has the Truly Me bike and jo uh, sorry, Jess's scooter, bike, whatever, um, in here. Whenever I was younger, I had this one and I was obsessed with it and my brother was obsessed with it. So he always said he wanted a green one and I didn't even know a green one existed. But then a couple years ago, my brother got this for like his birthday or Christmas or something. And I was absolutely amazed. I was like, how did my mom find a green scooter? That's amazing. But come to find out, American Girl had made one for Jess. So it worked out perfectly. So this is the room on the bottom. I really liked how Mixie Pixie 7 sort of had like her whole bottom room just laid out and it kind of was everything. I just really liked that sort of like open feel. So I have the living room over here and I have the couch that I made and these cushions are interchangeable so I might change it for summer but I like it right now. And then one, I made a chair and then back here is just a little jar that I flipped over. And then over here I have um, a table and chairs. They're really cute. Um, I wish that there were more chairs, but I don't know if I would have enough room for that. So it works for now. And then look how cute this computer is. All these tiny stickers that I put on there. I love this so much. It's like one of my favorite doll size things. And then this is like, okay, I love this. A little Trader Joe's bag. I love having a tiny doll bag. And then over here is the kitchen. And honestly, I feel like the table needs to move this way because there's not enough room in the kitchen. But over here, we just have all my stuff stored in here, all my doll food. It's not perfect, but it works. And then over here, more food. And then this is like the, I originally wanted the art, uh, not our generation. Yeah, our generation, like red kitchen set that Mixie Pixie 7 had and like pretty much everybody has. Um, but I ended up getting this one and honestly, I kind of like this one better because I feel like it's going to last me longer, sort of, if you know what I'm saying, because it's like sturdy wood. 
it's it came with the chairs but up here we just have some different kitchen stuff and then there's a little stove look how cute this mortal pestle is it's actually like lip balm or something inside of here but i just use it as a doll mortar pestle and then up here i have a ton of water bottles i loved making american girl crafts as a little child and i found um a craft that you get like little bubbles and you glue a bead on and boom it's a water bottle so i decided oh yeah i definitely need like 10 tiny water bottles and I've never used them since, basically, so. Um, they're really cute and really colorful, but I never use them. And then here is the refrigerator slash freezer. And it just has a bunch of little stuff in it. And that is the kitchen. Oh, and I also have this little sign that's adorable. Um, same thing that I said for the bathroom applies to this room. I'm definitely going to get more decorations and little things to go on the ground and just sort of clutter because I love how that looks. Um, but as of right now, I really don't have that much. But yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there because I don't know when I'm going to find stuff for my dollhouse. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys sort of the base and what I'm working with. So that is my whole dollhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I know these are some of my favorite videos to watch, the dollhouse tour videos. They're just inspirational and I love seeing tiny things. So thank you so much for watching. Um, before you go, I do have one thing that I wanna say. Um, my Etsy shop has recently gotten some attention for the little crochet bucket hats that I make. And I just wanted to say that I have sold out of those, however, I should be restocking sometime this weekend, next week, and next weekend. Over So basically over the course of the next week. Um, and making different variations, including a frog bucket hat, which I'm really excited for. I think you guys will love that. Um, restocking the purple lavender bucket hat. And also a pink bucket hat and maybe some other variations. And I will definitely keep making these um, as I come up with more ideas. So if you want more updates on this to be up with the latest um, of my Etsy shop, definitely follow my Instagram because I post a lot more on there because I have like the small stories that I can post. Um, but I will also try and keep my youtube updated so if i post a reel on instagram announcing something i will announce it on my youtube as well so you guys are kept in the loop so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next friday for my bathroom how to set up a miracle bathroom video so thank you so much for watching bye